Hey, hey, hello everybody. everybody. I, I am Silence with Silence, Silence Industries, <laughs> and welcome, welcome back to Silent Podcasting. Podcasting. And we are doing another session of our Star Wars game today. I'm joined by and Tuku. Hello. Slender. Hello. And Gerald. Hello. And I've got a friend from another server in the background listening. They're not going to say much, but they are in a front row experience to this. We also have Casey and Mari joining us a little later. They're just a little behind on things. It happens, and we'll just move on as best we can. Casey's character really is going to treat like they're still there. All right. So, everybody ready for it to go back to the galaxy far, far away? Yes, sir. All right, then. If we're going back to a galaxy far, far away and long, long ago, does that mean we're immortal? <laughs> Let's see. That's weird. Okay. Ah, for them. I've been a little bit too loud there. But as always, last time on Star Wars Lost Empires, sand! I hate sand. <laughs> uh, do you know this actually got me a uh, copyright strike on my last video? Yeah, I, I, I oh, totally I knew it was going to happen. I, I totally knew that was going to happen. It wasn't even by the uh, John Williams or Disney companies. It was by some random. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was probably a bot then. Yeah. Uh, but more seriously, uh, last time uh, uh, it lost empires, our uh, intrepid band of heroes, and I say that with air quotes for a good reason, <laughs> and it uh, worked and got hired by a warlord at gunpoint and were sent off to save one of his family members. Uh, a uh, young noble lord of this fiefdom named, uh, I believe it was Jeremy, wasn't it? Yeah, I'll be yes. Jeremy. And uh, so, <laughs> with that out of the way, you have now re entered uh, the starting system um, and are on your way. Hey, you, uh, hey, do you have anything to say to Jeremy as you guys drop out of hyperspace, ready to dig and him and deliver it already? Nah, not nothing. He can. <laughs> Just gonna take a moment to uh, remind everyone that uh, the last session we were in, uh, somebody re repeatedly insulted a criminal syndicate leader. Um, he deserved it. He was a fat fuck. <laughs> He's a hot. Yes. I know. I don't have to repeat myself. Haven says, "Nah, I'm still in the vents." Hammond just is just staring at the in the vents, probably staring at the feet of our two droids, Rusty and Bolt. Uh, if I had I flesh, have... I would shiver. Yeah, Slender's character is Rusty, and your character is Bolt, Gerald. But since I'm not calling you by the numeral and designations, as I get B X, B one, B X, B one, yeah, B one, B X, B X. I guess that works. Yeah. And I'll take it as an insult, but I will force you to use it anyways. <laughs> when Jeremy's just looking around at the party, it's just like, well, I can definitely say you're an unusual bunch, uh, at the very least. We used to be standardized until the flesh yeah. came along. We used to be glorious. <laughs> you were meant to be beautiful. Oh, that's probably a little out of character. In Star Wars, we say until the uh, organics came along. There we go. Yeah. Only bags. Too much. Too much. Uh, too much. HK forty seven or cyberpunk bleeding in there. HK forty seven. Damn it, Zach! Give me, give me one second. <laughs> yeah, but HK forty seven says meat tags, and cyberpunk cyber psychos just say meat. Oh, boy. Oh. <sighs> well, 
I feel it. Well, that out of the way. Let's see. And, uh... <laughs> Tuka says we lost Gerald. Ain't that always the way. The way. Well, he'll be back in a moment. Yes, and uh, as you can see, folks, these games never go as planned. Ever. Jail will return in Avengers. Uh, I guess it's Avengers now. <laughs> oh, shit, play the theme song. I uh, got some uh, background music going on. Hmm? Jeremy and uh, now you get a look at him. Is the skinny little young now? You know, individual of def of imperial descent. Uh, he looks like he has never worked a day in his life, and probably doesn't have any idea how to properly shoot a blaster. So if anything, if he, uh, he'd probably be pretty easy to take hostage. Now that you think about it. Yeah, and it says, "Oh, same." Yeah. I mean, what's stopping us? Well, besides the, the, the warlord. <laughs> besides the warlord and the fact that as you guys proceed into the system, you notice a large Imperial Star Destroyer now starting to track you. Can we hail them? You can hail them. Alright. Yes! <laughs> that doesn't sound too good. Let's, uh, let's hail them since we're being tracked. Yeah, uh, the ounce of morality we got collectively stops us. It's like one ounce. It's like brain cells. You guys uh, maybe got like one or two brain cells of morality somewhere around in your collective heads. We got like a good three or four. Yeah, we got like four. <laughs> oh, wow. We're really getting up to heroic standards here. <laughs> and you hail the... Uh, you hail... And on the hollow whole projector appears more Nautilus again. Ah, it's good to see you all. Jeremy, I see you in the spirits. Hello, Uncle Nautilus. Wait, well, his uncle's on the Star Destroyer? Yeah, that's the guy who hired us. What? I don't remember Star Destroyer being involved. Apparently, I'm just... Yeah, he, he never talked to, to, to you. He never talked to you directly in the last episode. So he always talked to you via hollow projection. And he is an imperial remnant that's become his own minor warlord in the uncharted regions. So, ah. If you guys ever forget about exposition I've given, just uh, contact me. I'll try to get it. Just let me know. I'll try to explain it. All right. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah. and, well, this doesn't wipe away your debt, as I still have much more use for you, but I will say it's enough to get you some credits. Uh, it's about a, about a thousand credits each are deposited into your account, and since there are four of you, that's about four thousand credits right there. Is that a decent amount? We have no val We have no concept of Star Wars currency as of yet. Well, because we're, we're kind of robots. I mean, I don't really know. You guys know. I mean, no, we, we would know. You guys would know, know at least a little something about money. This was your ship up until it got sold off. With you guys still on it. I mean, I don't know how that happened per se, but <laughs> well, it happened because the people selling the ship didn't believe you actually owned it because you're droids. And as far as they know, droids can't own anything. We can. We have our own quote unquote will. Well, no. Yes. But no. Yeah. But no. No. Most droids, no. So the rule is no, unless stated otherwise. And we only stay otherwise at the blaster point, and uh, that's that's another issue entirely. Yeah, you didn't want to trust us because we kind of like killed a lot of people, but that wasn't our fault. I mean, okay, we got a point of people who ordered us to do it. <laughs> you we know, did not survive the Nuremberg trials. <laughs> You two are battle droids. 
So either, yeah, so your options are either you're innocent of blame, but can't own anything, or you're gonna be trying to hag, but you at least own shit. Um, you're either people, be you're, you're either people or you're not, and both uh, and both have problems with those options. Yeah. It's my programming. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Anyways, uh, Jeremy takes a look at all of you as Toss goes. No, just land a tossy over there, and I'll uh, I'll take my young nephew away so he can be back with the rest of his family and be under closer watch in the future. The only person that can take the money is is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Casey. Uh, we're acting like Casey's character is there, so, uh, as far as Min has taken the cash. Nice. And Slinger has this to say about your character, Tuku, I only care for feet and food. I said that. You flat your race my, my, my thing. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> accurate to your character, who nobody can understand. <laughs> Actually, uh, Slender and uh, Gerald, roll a, a d6 for me, please. Alright, give me one second. Just one d6. Just one d6. Yeah. Everybody? Goddamn. Off to no. what is probably going to be a wonderful story. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Okay, I was gonna say, you, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that was just for Gerald and Slender. Jill and Slinder both got a 1 on that d6 roll, and that was just to determine if those two have to have uh, language chips that allow them to understand you. And the answer is, they do not. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> uh, language chips are, are about 100 credits of chips, so you might be able to buy yourself like a language chip or two. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, but you can't really exactly install them into your heads by yourself, so you would have to perform. You have, you have we, to. We have each other. Yeah. The two gay robots. No. Five, three, five, because they're not gay. Because we're not gay. Thank you. <laughs> you sound like more feminine in programming, Gerald. <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. Watch <laughs> well, out. I have customizable genitals. <laughs> Oh god! If it was if it wasn't for the fact that the music alone is going to give me copyright, that would probably get me demonetized if I was monetized at all. Especially with cyberpunk. Okay. I mean, I said nothing. <laughs> Anyways, and Jeremy looks at all of you. He's just like, well, since you seem like I wouldn't say decent folk, especially considering that I'm fairly sure the Jawa and the air vents is staring at me. No, she's not staring at you. Don't worry. She's staring at her feet. I don't know now that my, uh, my uncle is not someone you want to stick with for the long term. No. Why not? Well, other than the fact that he's a for he's an former Imperial officer, he's currently a warlord, he has what looks to be a Star Destroyer appointed right at us. I mean, I trust him enough. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's just like being back in the good old days. Except, yeah. well, honestly, we're mo just as disposable as before. But now we sort of get paid. Yeah, we we we, we got paid uh, nothing well, before where we were. Um, well, free now, maintenance, though. Uh, that is true, but at least with the the fallen brothers we have, uh, we can. Um, Maintain ourselves. Yeah. Though checking your storerooms, you would find that currently all the certain parts are missing, or at least missing feet. A oh, fucking. It's like the most important part. I'll go buy some more bear traps. I only have the one. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Ewok traps? Yeah. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> The answer is that one's small, but electric. 
And Mari has just responded into the voice chat I just got out. I hope I can hop into the voice chat while driving, but I won't be able to until I get home. It's fine. So Mari might join us sooner than expected. <laughs> Him is just posting eye uh, pictures and all that. Apparently they don't appreciate the fact that you guys are discussing sending out more traps in their storeroom. Their store room, more like our store room. Oh, no. You gotta remember, y'all, this is our ship. Oh, hey, Mari has just joined us. Hello, hello Mari. Hey. Hello, hello. Is she kind of soft soon right now? I'm wondering if that's uh, it'll probably get better once she gets to her computer properly. It, yeah, I'm on my phone, so yeah, anyways. And uh, this is good, because it means we at least now have a fourth person to talk to, as you did, as you proceed to land on the planet Tossi, a brawling cityscape that just stretches to the horizon. The planet is completely covered in concrete structures. Hmm. Well, I fought in a place like this once. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, for, uh, normally I'd have Slender roll to land, but honestly, this is probably a familiar enough environment that the pilot joint can land without issue. Yay! When you, when you say pilot joint, are you referring to me or the actual AI? I'm referring to your character, Slender. B1. <laughs> I mean, come on, we find places like this constantly. Well, it could have been anywhere. And you proceed to land, Jeremy's just like, just trust me, if he, if he ever got the chance to backstab you, if it served him a better purpose, he would. And that's probably... Are you saying soon. we should do it first? No, I'm saying to keep an eye out and don't trust him fully. I don't know, he's never... He's, that rat bastard has never helped me in my life, in life but you have so far done more for me than he, he has, Friday. Yes. So I feel at least a little like I owe you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hey now, uh, the landing uh, door extends outwards, you proceed to step off, and then you're... <laughs> and standing, waiting for Jeremy, and you are two large, imp tall, imposing figures, decked out in all black armor, with almost green optics on them. They stride forward confidently... And one of them grabs Jeremy. He's like, yes, yes, I understand. Uncle Loveless wants me. Fine, we'll go. Oh. Oh, the other one turns towards you and hands over a credit shit with 4000 on it. <laughs> you guys just got to meet some of the uh, some of the military force of Commander Nautilus. You got to meet the Death Troopers. Oh, shit! Uh, do, you have, uh, do you guys have any responses to the fact that you just met uh, six to seven foot tall individuals who are known to be not less than human at this point? I mean, I'm less than human. Uh, different from you. They're more like, uh, whereas you are a mass production droid, these guys are super soldiers. I mean, I was a super soldier in my time. Yeah, Philly is back, so Philly's missing some stuff. Uh, Philly, the group just met Death Troopers. Hmm. Philly says, B1 was just a basic battle droid. <laughs> B1's probably oiling himself at this point. Actually, how is, it, how is B1 They're responding to the fact that he just met the Super Soldiers of the Empire? Hmm. Prefer Droidicus. God. Uh, no, my second girlfriend was a Droidica. I knew a guy who knew a guy who said he knew a guy who served with a guy. 13 B1 separated, but 13 service models related. They were made in the same factory. <laughs> And one of the uh, one of the death troopers turns on a hollow, another hollow projector, and Atlas is like, "All right, so now that my nephew is under 
Say, Fraps, I have a few things for you. Other than, you know, the money you've just received that can be used to buy what you really want on this planet. It's a bustling shopping center, you know. You could probably buy yourself a better engine for the ship with the money you earned. Maybe another gun. They're like 300 to 400 okay? And, or maybe a few ch chips to improve the performance of your out-of-date droids. Yeah, I don't think yet. Yeah, it'd be probably just like, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not out of date. <laughs> one knows what he is. He has no uh, delusions about what he is. Well, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. But that's, uh, that's just a requirement to get by, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, before I give you uh, your next stop, I have something else for you. Uh, who? Bring her out, out of what appears to be an armored carrier of some sort. Uh, set up another air death trooper dragging by the wrist what appears to be a model in of sorts. Wow! Okay! Okay! <laughs> uh, getting a good look at the model, and you realize that they're dr dressed up in some drab brown clothing. With a head wrapper right around their Leku head tentacles. But attached to their head appears to be a silvery hilt of some sort that I've been, that I'm not even going to have B1 and BX in roll for. They know exactly what that is. I gotta say that I'm very immersed. She's even <laughs> so very far away. <laughs> and B1 and BX recognize that as the hilt to a lightsaber. <laughs> Excuse me while I promptly take two steps back. Can I can I can I run away? I take it over over a whole planets with my with my with with my brothers in arms, quote unquote. But anyone with with a light stick can uh, not take it. Hamon <laughs> rolls two d six on technology and gets a six. So they have some understanding that it's a weapon of some sort, but they're not exactly certain what it is. Probably because it's not droid parts; they just don't care enough for it. Um, I have a question though. Yes. Can I? have a scan of this person to see if they have a bounty on them. Because someone with a lightsaber doesn't just just go around. Well, they used to, but remember, this is like six to seven years after the fall of the Empire. I mean, there are still some Jedi surviving who are... Was, frankly, just... People with lightsabers are kind of a danger to yeah. the Empire. Yep. <laughs> like, like, spotted. This, this doesn't, doesn't look good. And Mario has to say, I'm in a bad area. Uh, Mori, I think more accurately, I'm in danger! Yeah. What are you talking about? She's perfectly safe and secure in between two giant super roided death machines. <laughs> <laughs> and two even larger organic death machines. Oh, yeah, look at these robot guns. <laughs> yeah, as you flex to try to show that you're not afraid, your, le your left arm falls off. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I quickly run to the ship and repair them in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah, you don't pick that up before Hammond runs off with it. I'm going to pick, right, pick up his arm. <laughs> Go yeah, can I, there, accusingly at the jaw. Can I repair him real quick? Yeah, roll, yeah, yeah, roll droid repair and all that. No, no. Right. Please, no. <laughs> Two D six. That's not too bad for two D six. Eight. Uh, you manage to reconnect the arm. It'll need some more. It'll need a more fine tuned repair later, but it's, it works for now. Yeah, it, 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 it's at least not hanging hanging limply on B one. Why would you embarrass us like? This is talking about. Uh, uh, and Nautilus smiles. Ah, it seems that the droids seem aware of what this young individual is. 
Her name is... What was your name again? I can, hit, I can so scarcely remember. The uh, death trooper holding on to the noblin. It shakes her a bit. It'll make her start talking. Does the Empire know about her? And we, and, and everybody, let's let Mari talk. And we have a connection to the phone. Can you, can you even hear me? Kinda. Yeah. Kinda, sorta. Kinda, yeah, so you're not, Mr. Roboto. Yeah, 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 big low. Lower. <laughs> uh, but, um... <laughs> my name is Lemia. <laughs> Jeez. This is bad timing. Ah, uh, yes, Lemia. Uh, we found her trying to cause some trouble for a few of my troops. And, uh, unfortunately for her, she was one person against, I don't know how many stormtroopers. There's... Do you two know the, de uh, the death troopers just stare at the hallway? A graphic projection of novelists and just shrug it. Look, it, they don't have anything to say. Anything they would say would just come out as. <laughs> I'm trying my best to uh, <laughs> imitate the sounds of death troopers. I feel like there's a lot of internal screaming. Uh. It, it, it would if they had any free will left. Wait a second. How are you looking at the chat if you're driving your car? I have my ways. You probably shouldn't do that because I don't want to hear a fucking car crash when I'm trying to play it there. Because I'll kick your ass after that. Oh, okay. the fuck did you just say? She's becoming a droid. <laughs> more droid than the rest of them. Oh yeah, the death trooper. Wait, they're, are they even taller? Yeah, they're like six to seven feet. Yeah, they stretch them out. You didn't know. May I ask? This is uh, more meta. It's it seems more that. like it's just an arbitrary requirement so that you look more intimidating rather than genetic modification. Yeah. It's like the, the the Spartan program for for the Halo, which is basically just pumping up full of drugs and like. Uh, their armor's also black because it's uh, treated with specialized materials to render it undetectable by radar. Yeah, yeah. Radar. Are, and also deflect few blaster shots. That's why they can take a lot more punishment. These guys are the special operations. They're black ops for the Empire. And they're terrifying. Mari's race is not alone. They're the hot ones, right? Well, it, it depends on how much of an alien fucker you are. They're not the Twi'leks. They're not the Twi'leks. Okay. No, then they're not what I thought they were. Nope. Oh, it's Kit Fisto. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's Kit Fisto. Oh, the, oh the, the, fish, the fish guys. Yeah. I am not oh, a freaky fish, fish guy. guy. The Zora can catch it. Amari is still... Ooh, yeah, no, Mari, Mari's in the far gone. What's your skin I pigmentation? Far away. What's <laughs> what's your pigment colors? We need the pigment nah. just to see if you're hot or not. <laughs> Why do you guys care? You're doing. You have no attraction to anything. Oh, because color looks nice, you Yeah. So can we not appreciate the beauty of color in this world? Are you green? Are you blue? Are you teal? Minutes away is. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so funny. I have to go retrieve something. I'll just wait. Uh, when, <laughs> I'll, be right back. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll pause the next job for you guys, and then when Mari gets back in, we'll be. Yeah. <laughs> it really says Tiny Mari raging in the background. <laughs> uh, 
Here we saw Exposit, the next uh, job for everybody. Yeah. And we'll just let everybody get reconnected from there. 40 minutes, and it's 40 minutes until food is done. Okay, see, it's not, uh, we're gonna be pretty late on this. Oh, hey, okay, see, is here. So, okay, see, we're gonna be late on this. <laughs> Forgive me, Casey. I'm not always the brightest egg. Uh, carry on in the night fish. Drawer. There you go. Nautilus is like, this young individual will be accompanying you on your next job for me. See, recently one of my... Rivals, Lord Tusk, came across a little something in another system, and I want you all to go pick it up. What is it? Well, to put it like this, it seems to be some sort of artifact. He's currently holding it on an Imperial Station, it's tied to the planet the station is orbiting. Realm, hmm. a, tr a tropical land paradise of sorts, but, well, we can only say so much about that. I want you all to go pick it up for me, and then bring it back. Failure to Does do so. Have... Does he have what? Um, a good bounty on his head, your rival. Well, that depends. Do you think you can get past his army, um, get, get past his, uh, dark troopers? Shit. <laughs> he has death troopers. Uh, Tusk has dark troopers. Mm, damn. Maybe. Depends on the situation. Uh, let me bring up a picture of the uh, dark troopers for everybody. Uh, the current cannon dark troopers. They're big ass battle droids that are nearly 8 feet tall. So, uh... Wowee! <coughs> Duplicate televisions, Casey says. Casey is a missing animal crossing. I think I can flirt my way through. <laughs> I roll to seduce. I mean, droid, droid on droid action, I mean, I would pay for that. <laughs> Two droids 75 feet apart, because they're not gay. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, our conversation is over. I'll let you buy what you want, and then go get it. Alright, so what would be... How much better would our ship be if we got any money Let's see. The current status of your ship is... I bet your current engine is a maneuver of 1D. A better engine would be 2D. Mm, that would be a better. That would actually be double. Uh, but it would cost most of the money you just made. Yeah. Going fast is usually equating to not dying. That is true. Which is also considerable. I mean, how much for a new ship? Honey, you don't have the money. <laughs> I was guessing. What about other bites or anything like that? Uh, there is a bay in the helium medium freighter that looks like it can hold a small fighter or a hover bike. Hover bikes would also cost basically all of your cash. You can probably get one. <laughs> I need to go really grab the rule book because I forgot to bring it. Oh, wait, I think I actually have yeah. God damn it. Yeah, I got the rule books with me. Excellent. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought they weren't in the room with you, and I was like... <laughs> I, uh... You can only play for so much. I'm glad I didn't lose these. You hear it here, folks. Uh, here, first, uh, first, folks. Silence is kind of a dumbass. I mean, you'd be a dumbass if you didn't have the rule book. How much for a small fighter? <laughs> 
probably a lot. Yeah, the, uh, about half of what any of your ship would cost. Well, let's see. I uh, there are rules in the rule. Uh, there are stuff. That, there's stuff in the uh, source book about cost of things. Let's see, should be somewhere along. Okay, here we go. Nope. It's probably closer to mod. Well, anyways, Casey, uh, you guys just got to explain what's going on. You guys just got back. You've dropped Jeremy off. You guys got money for it. And you've just got a new addition to your party. Also, side jobs. Currently no side jobs. Okay, so I did have to walk out. How did the person just say, you're working with this, with this Jedi? Now? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Very nice. Considering that Jen, considering said Jedi is also under threat of Nautilus. Hmm. What's in the stores? Because I might Nautilus know. is the uh, is the Imperial Lord you get worked for in the last game. KC, that was only two weeks ago. How have you already forgotten? Everybody else remembers. Yeah. I mean, I was at do you recap the forest? I think KC missed the recap. <laughs> okay, Jefferson is a you know, little bit cheating. <laughs> the repulsor of the vehicles doesn't seem to have anything on here about cost, so I'm more or less free to uh, go with the prices I feel are more stacked. Okay. And we got land spheres, which are uh, some of which are fancy looking uh, future hover cars. We don't need that. An air speeder. Which it has a maneuverability of three, a cloud car, aka that dual pod car, yep. sail barge, yeah, far too large. Okay. So, what type of since I do not need oxygen in space, is there like just a cheap little ship that I can attach blasters to and just fly out of my own? No, there's not. Damn it. No, we're, we're already in some of the smallest things you can get out there. Like, we're in a Millennium Falcon. Even a personal fighter isn't really that much smaller in terms of structural size. Like I said, there's a bay in there that could probably fit something like an A, you know, like a TIE Advanced or an A-Wing, but, you know, that ain't happening. Let's see, speeder bike. A, manu a speed code of 4D, a maneuverability of 3D plus 2, and a body strength of 2D. Damn. That's pretty good. Yep. Let's see. Comes in various models. Yeah, I'm still going to say it probably costs like all 4,000 of the credits you've just made. Yeah. How, mu how much would the engine be? Uh, the engine would be 3,000 credits. That means we'd only be left with a thousand. Yep. Uh, Let's go to the store first, see what they can buy. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, before you just buy her an engine. Question. Yes? How much does B1 model cost? Currently not on the market. You're a, uh, you're a, you're a collector's item at this point, even in your biggest severely damaged state. You'd probably go so, for... You probably go for like five thousand credits. What? I mean, could we download his personality and put it into an R two oh, yeah. unit? Damage B one is worth more than a speeder bike. Well, considering how rare you are, and speeder bikes are mass produced. So are we? I, I'm more rare than him. Put him in a toaster. Like speeder bikes are like nice motorcycles, generally. Yeah. Um, and keep in mind, though, everything you're going to be buying is from used used places. Fresh off the lot stuff is going to be way too expensive for anybody. And yeah, Gerald's character BX would probably go for closer to ten thousand to two thousand credit, twenty thousand credits. I'll kill any dude who thinks about selling me. <laughs> he probably could. He's a he's a bounty hunting droid, so. I mean, are there any cheaper models that would be just as good yeah. as me? No. Yeah. Because I am basically like the assassin combat unit. Yeah. 
and so on. Yeah. You're designed with a lot more intelligence than most dro uh, uh, battle droids, so. Hmm. Slender's character has just, you know, developed intelligence through sheer stress alone. I tripped and fell. That's what happened to me. <laughs> the, the techno oh you and yeah we've given uh, and our B1s the ability to act without control stations by giving them these mass produced contr uh, control chips Dooku you fucked up a perfectly good droid is what you've done look at it it's got anxiety correct now get that light stick away from me <laughs> <laughs> yeah these two have just been freaking out over Mari's character since uh, Lemia has a lightsaber. Yo. Okay, this is completely unrelated, but in looking up random extra pictures for uh, what Mari's character might look like, she's still not here, so no confirmation. Yeah. I have found a Nautilin headpiece on Etsy. Oh my god. And Philly says, yes, sell your friends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mari could probably force the two into being sold. No. Light stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, no, what I expected. The, uh... Oh, hey, a land speeder costs about 2,000 credits used. Speeder and bike costs about 1,000 credits used, but 5,000 credits new. Hmm. Hmm. So, you guys are in the shopping center, since you're probably going to since you're gonna try to buy some stuff. Uh, do you guys want to get uh, yourself some language chips so you can finally understand what the fuck Haman is saying? Haman. Wait, Hama. Uh, Haman. The, the Jawa, aka the one who keeps trying to steal your feet. Oh. Uh, it'd probably be worth that. Although, we can choose string budget and only get one. <laughs> because no. we can communicate instantly wire through our wireless. So yeah. Technically, we only need one person to translate. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing is, though, how much, how many spare parts do you have in the ship of? Because me, me, and B one have to have some rare parts that we could totally sell. You've got enough parts to maybe fix yourselves one or two more times. R rare is probably a strong word. Novelty, no, but, sounds but novelty, yes. Yeah. For like a collector to have like a replacement head. Just sitting yeah. on the couch. I think someone would pay a good thousand, two thousand for that. No, mm. I think you're. I think you're inflating the value of. Uh, I don't think you realize how good I can haggle. That's actually. Pretty, I, uh, that's actually a pretty good he Etsy headpiece. Yeah. See. Oh, but like, like I, 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 credits are worth at least quite a bit more than we're treating them. <laughs> Uh, Trying to buy a B1 battle droid head for 2000 would be absurd. Yeah. Uh, um, I'd be okay. like buying a, it'd like be buying somebody's old toaster for $2,000. Hey man, in the current climate, maybe. People are selling fucking sewing machines for nearly that much. Like, an entire fully functional uh, B1, no repairs necessary. Yeah, like maybe that might be close to five thousand credits, but like, yeah, I. Hey. Uh, it depends on who the, the which collector you talk to. Some will be willing to pay for even a damaged uh, B1 just for the novelty of having a really old asteroid that's no longer in, in production. <laughs> And I, and I take this from the fact that eBay exists and there are damaged products on there that are selling for thousands of dollars and have been sold for thousands of dollars. If there, if it's no longer in production and somebody wants it, they'll pay through the nose for it. 
Let's see, there are survival tents, clothing, droid equipment. Ooh! Egg. Uh, hey, everybody. You guys could get some restraining bolts for your droids. They only cost about 25. Then credits. There's a control device for 100 credits. Repair service. No. Ooh, no. man. No. <laughs> there is not that. Uh, there's also memory wipe services, which go from 50 to 500 credits. Hmm. So you two could be completely blanked in personality. I'll fucking kill anyone. Well, how you are you going to kill that? How not are... to self by thermal detonator. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will up my, upload myself to the cloud. They have, they have personalities? <laughs> yes! This is this is what this is what we get for being droids, B one. They take or Tuku is back. You are just mad because you are angry, says KC. <laughs> oh god. Well, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Co standard comm link, subspace radio. Okay, do you guys wanna upgrade uh, hey that engine of yours or do you wanna like ask for anything else on here? I mean, what type of weapons? Always oh, Let's see, there's black powder pistols, muskets, slug throwers, rifles, machi machine guns, holdout blasters, sporting blasters. You guys already got blasters, so you're probably pretty good there. Heavy repeating. Any, any net guns or anything like that? What? Like net. Like net weapons? Uh, there's a riot gun, which does mm -hmm. 80 damage, but stars next to it means stun damage. Huh. That sounds pretty cool. It costs 750 credits. Yeah. I'm gonna stick no. the I'm gonna stick the credits onto the uh, group uh, onto the fr uh, freighter, so you guys, you know, <laughs> have a collective idea of where that is. Any flamethrowers? Yeah, see, slug thrower pistol would do. How much is the slug thrower pistol? A slug thrower pistol is 275 credits. Hmm. Oh, that's enough to kill. Wait, do we know if this light stick works? Mari's not here, so we can't ask her. Yeah. So, does the light stick work? Do <laughs> we not I... get to know? You, you will get to know soon enough. You can ask her when she gets here. Also, uh... It, honestly, if you really want to make sure you uh, are protected against it, uh, it's Jedi. Why gun? The, why not go for the submachine gun? Why shoot one bullet when you can shoot multiple bullets? Can't be that good yet. It's not as stylish. You got a one tap a Jedi for a real impressive factor. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, if you're trying to kill a Jedi, make sure you that you, make sure the Jedi is dead. Yeah, it's hard to capture one alive. It really is. Can they parry a grenade? They can't. But they could use the force to contain the explosion of the grenade. Yeah, well, that be would be much harder than just pushing it back at you. Yeah. I think I'll get an SMG. Let's see. I'll buy uh, a translation ship. And let's see. I have a normal blaster. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Gonna have to break up my calculator to keep track of all of that's going on. Can I buy the ship? The ship. I'm just gonna bet on light stick not working because she still has it. All right. I mean, not many people know what it is, but yeah. No, the fucking M the Imperial Remnant, the guy, our boss, would know. That's why he gave them to us. But it must work. He won't just give us the fucking Jedi. Well, the Jedi works. The light stick probably doesn't, though. Alright, a language chip has been added to B1. It says Jawa. Yeah. And, uh, you still want it, and, and Gerald, do you want uh, BX to get... The SMG? Yes, please. 
You guys got some credits. It's not enough to pay off your debt, but it'll at least cover for some other stuff. All right, that you guys are now down to three three thousand and three hundred credits, and one six hundred dollar SMG will be added to VX's inventory. So that's uh, seven hundred down. So we could still hypothetically buy the engine upgrade if literally everyone throws all of their money at it? Yep. Uh, the SMG oh. has a damage of 4D, so... Now, uh, if I remember rightly, do you know what we have terrible food? You did have terrible food. Oh, no. So, do you are probably going to want to buy food? <laughs> How much does food that will not make the organics suffer cost? Let's see. Food is not listed on here, but I'll say to buy a set of good quality food, it'd probably be close to 500 credits. Oh, what do you mean a set? <laughs> like, uh, a crate of perishable supplies that is good quality, that won't make it, and all that. Mm. And they can suffer. <laughs> well, technically, the remainder of the money is their share, because you only got 400, I've got 900, and then the remaining Jawa and... Wait, uh, was it Twi'lek? Twi'lek? Yes, Twi'lek. Yes. Okay. Ah, well, we got least, two tentacle boyos. At least with Slender having that translator chip, I get translated as well. Tentacle boy girl! Hello! No. Hey, mommy is here. Hello. I just got home, so just let me switch over to something more suitable. All right. Hey, oh, okay. So, uh, you guys will get to find out whether or not uh, the Le Lemia's lightsaber actually works or not, and be proper. There's no way. <laughs> what? No way it works. It'd be, it'd be too OP. <laughs> You'd think that, but the game has made it actually pretty balanced. For D6. <laughs> Lightsabers were never really that strong. The problem with them is that, you know, they're not a ranged weapon. Everybody else carries ranged weapons. And as powerful as one Jedi is, the sheer amount of bullets uh, it, that, uh... Could the heavy defeat... Yes. Because the, the, the heavy shoot bullet, not blaster. Slug throwers are so inconvenient for most people and so comparatively rare to other weapons. Actually, slug throwers are incredibly common weapons. It's just that modern body armor has rendered them pretty much kind of irrelevant. But why would they still be common? Because they're easy to maintain, easy to produce, and don't need the particle gas the gas is needed to for their particle acceleration chambers. But if it doesn't actually injure anyone in body armor, I mean, I guess small small it's, time criminals. It's also cheaper than a blaster, so. So, like, small time criminals, because anyone who has even basic armor on will be essentially immune to slug throwers. Yeah, is there they, any basic criminals nearby that I can capture? Uh, currently, no. Uh, this is a very heavy he city planet. There are no bounties on it, and if there were, you gotta remember, this is the Uncharted regions. Their definition of crime is not the same. We go into a bar, we get into a fight, we punch some guy out, we steal his pistol. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we get mugged and sold for scrap by the entire bar. Okay, yeah. Lightsaber just has a damage rating of 50. Not a D, just 50. But it has a difficulty... A... It has a difficulty rating of 20, so... You guys are pretty safe in melee combat. Oh, wait, just 50? You said? Yeah, and that's basically it's... belief. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, a little bit delete. Slender's in danger. 
I'm an adventure. I have a question. Should I get a better gun? I have a stun rifle. It's, uh, well, that depends. Do you guys want to you know, take off 500 of your current credits so you can at least have better food on your ship? No. I do not support that option. Well, it's not up to you. It's thousand. Yeah. You've already spent your. You've already made your purchase. You can't walk back now. Uh, I'm not walking back. I'm just saying I don't support the purchase. Hello. Uh, eh, Mari. Uh, At Mari though. Min has been eating McDonald's salt packets and ramen noodles for three months. I'm going to take that as young Min wants better food on the ship, Casey. Am I correct? Take that as a solid, yes. Yes. All right. You guys are now down to 200 and 8,000 credits. I don't know if you saw this in the chat, but I was... I was... I, Asuku, not as Hamon, because Hamon does not care. Uh, that I would suggest to, that we get something to communicate communicate at large distances. Uh, uh, yes, uh, there is a basic radio uh, column link for a hundred credits. Because, yeah, because we can't relay on just having one drive from one with one side of the party and then the other drive on the other side and just it, trust that they will communicate what they are saying. Yeah, Mari. So, uh, the, uh, Gerald and the Slender think that Lemia's light stick is not a real light stick. Not a real light stick. Do you want to turn it on and prove them wrong? Do I need to roll for that? You won't need to roll. Yeah, you're not going to need to roll for that because, as the GM, I already know it's real, so. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> How? You're How were the. You're telling me that these death troopers were just. Carrying an imprisoned Jedi and you, just didn't bother to take the lightsaber off. The well, they stuck it back on her hip when they dragged her out. They, they're not going to just hold on to it forever. Plus, well, she's Italian. She's 19 years old. Wait. Yeah, she don't know how to use it. <laughs> and she knows how yeah. to turn it. And she knows how to turn it on and off and look intimidating with it. But <laughs> yeah, so do I. Yeah, she she raises the weapon. Clicks uh, the switch and boom, a bright blade appears uh, on it. Uh, Lemia, what color is it? Good. Um. <laughs> and what color are you? A color. Yeah. Wow, that's racist. <laughs> well, you're that a one? tentacle creature. Oh, uh, um. I actually got a reference picture. I just need to pull it up, bro. Yeah. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time just on shopping. We spent nearly an hour just on shopping. Well, nearly yeah, an hour. Oh, do they have thermal detonator? Let's see. Explosives. Grenades. The grenade launcher. Ooh. Personal mine. Vehicle mine. Explosive charge. Standard fuse. Timer fuse. Remote fuse. And thermal detonator. Oh boy. That's so cute, Mari. Thank you. I mean, it is a cute baby. And, uh. uh it looks like a no teal. Anyways, uh, Slender, a thermal detonator costs 2,000 credits. Oh. I'm guessing it's, it's a big boom then. Yes. It's a fucking thermal detonator. It has a, it has a damage code of 10D. Yeah. So thermal detonators are not. Uh, Casey, Casey exists as as and has are. participated zero percent. Well, uh, we've been ha you've been kind of off, and we've been trying to do our best to keep things rolling. Sorry. Right. But you have been, but you at least contributed now by pointing out that you guys need better food. So. <laughs> Because I really got to give Min one. I already got Min covered with the weapons last I checked. Yep, and Min has a blaster rifle, which is a damage rating of 5D. And for shooting things, do we just have an arbitrary goal to hit based upon the situation, or are there well, you, extra you, rules for that? You, you roll your blaster skill, and then you roll damage. 
and then just GM decides if we hit or not? It depends on what you're trying to hit, but so yeah. Okay. They need a melee. All right, so uh, Casey, you got staff or clubs, spears, knives, hatchets, bayonets, vibro weapons, and that's basically about it for you since you don't have force yeah. powers. Oh, I tried the vibro weapons. Just out of curiosity. Let's see. Stop. The vibro axe is 500 vibro credits. Is 500 credits. Uh, uh, Mar, you might want to turn off your uh, audio there. I don't know how. I have di I've turned off the audio, so, you know, that's done there. You no, know, no things. In the roll 20, KC, and all that. Anyways, Vibro Axis 500, Vibro Blade is 250, Vibro Bayonet is 300. Hmm. Is the bayonet attached to a gun? Why is it 300? I have no idea. Anyways, I do want to get uh, this shopping over with it, uh, folks, because we still got story to get through. Okay, so... Lemia probably doesn't need anything since she just joined and has no idea what the fuck's going on. And she's just a young baby who is just trying to make her way through the galaxy. And then she got uh, then she got caught by Lord Nautilus, and that and now she's essentially in debt to him, like everybody else here. And now she's being forced to work with this party. Oh damn. <laughs> from just trying to find the, her place the in the... Defined forest. As in, not killed. Fine. And uh, shoved at gunpoint. That's not good. All right, then. Okay, you, you guys still got 2,800 uh, 2, credits. Do you guys want anything else, or shall we move on to the... Next part. I just got here. I don't know what you guys want to do. No. Oh, I don't I'm not going to leave. Got I got what I needed. Okay. So technically, you have nothing. Uh, what the one of the robots bought a machine gun. I bought a translation ship, and I am the other robot. So now I can speak Jawa. Come on. Uh, Hemon, you said something about wanting to get him on another weapon. Um, sure, I think. Uh, I, I mean, I'm fine with the one I have, but I don't know if I stuff. should get something a bit more powerful. Powerful. Uh, something that doesn't just stun people. Yeah. Let's see. I want something to kill. Uh. How about a hunting blaster for 4D mm -hmm. damage? Nice. Okay. Alright, one hunting blaster is 500 credits. So. And as for uh, Casey. Uh, anyways, Casey, as for your question. <sighs> I'm still working on that. Let's see. Okay. <sighs> wow, the uh, background music is still going. We have now passed the one hour mark, people. Congratulations. And OBS is yeah. still holding strong. We haven't yeah. done anything. Let me see. Unholy. Let's see. Oh, how do I put that in the weapon, boy? Staff is strength plus 1D, so... Mm -hmm. The damage would probably be, let's see... Strength, 3D... Yeah, that'd be just 4D. 
since it's combining your 3D since it's with the combining your 1D. 3D with the 1D. Basic logic. All right. Uh, with every, uh, anything else you want, KC, or shall we move on? Uh, or uh, difficulty arrange or no? Uh, we'll be using difficulty for melee weapons, which means uh, uh, Lemia is unlikely to be able to hit anything with that lightsaber of hers for a little while. Oh. Uh. Hope you like my doodles. Let's see. Yeah, the difficulty of your lightsaber is 20. Your melee is 4D plus 1. You'd need to consistently hit tw close to 20 to even hit it, you think. I know what I'm about. All right. So add a the difficulty of imagine having four D plus one. It'll flex this into four D plus two. Anyways, in case see a club is a difficulty of five. Unless you roll really badly, I think you're gonna be able to consistently hit with a club. <laughs> the mid just goes around clubbing things. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's for long reach of the IKEA. All right, and everybody good? We are not buying anything else. It's nine thirteen. It's time to get moving. All right, time to you get get into the ship and uh, you get uh, the droids show. Uh, let me up where she'll be staying in another one of the end rooms that they've had to empty out of spare parts. Huh. You guys, you guys are consistently losing space on your own damn ship to all these meat bags. How do you feel? <sighs> How do you feel about that? I feel nothing. I feel upset. Like <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Time to switch out the ambient music as you guys go into space. All right, as you as you guys go into the stars, of course, I'm not gonna bother to have slender roll for this since again, make no sense. <laughs> uh, here we go. Going back into my cozy vent space, but what if I <laughs> but what if, what if I want to botch it though? Why would you, Hamon? It might risk it killing you, and then you won't be able to take any more droid feet. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> I like how that's basically the only motivating factor from keeping Hamon from uh, screwing you guys all over. They won't be able to get more droid feet afterwards. Yeah. I think we should be all be afraid of the tiny Jawa. <laughs> I mean, getting, I mean, I have a limitless source of Jersey if I keep them alive. <laughs> you proceed to get, head off onto the next system to go to the orbiting Imperial Station. Yeah. It'll take you about five days via hyperspace, but it, you should be able to get there with no problem. Mm -hmm. the, uh, as you get to go on, the uh, we brought a good food, a good food, right? Yeah, you guys got good food. Min is no longer eating crap. Evan's <laughs> box of deluxe salt packets. How is Min still alive? Uh, 
good question we ask God. Inherent retail rage, spite. <laughs> Great, any responses. So, let me add, do you want to try to make conversation with any of your new crewmates? The fact that they're going to be stuck with you for a while? Going to go into the cockpit. <laughs> Lemmy, do you have anything to say? Sorry. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> God damn it. It's like when I just got home, my um, something was popular. But um, honestly, I would honestly, given the situation that she's in, I think Wonder would just be more polite than anything else and just be like, not to get on anybody's bad side. Unfortunately for you, B1 only has bad sides. Oh. Yeah. Uh, joking aside. Joking aside. Wait, I guess let's just start off by saying, so... How did you find that Jawa? And why does it smell like robot food? <laughs> Livia has a toilet offering to teach her how to put together IKEA furniture and a job about to take those feet. <laughs> <laughs> the droids are the most normal people on this airship. Should I be concerned? Yes, Livia, you should be concerned. Uh, Slender, Gerald, does B1 do, does B or BX have anything to say to Lemmy about this situation? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> uh, I, I imagine they're probably keeping some distance from her, considering, you know, light stick. Yeah, keeping distance is uh, very appropriate for what we'd be doing. Thank you very much. Aww. They're, 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 they're battle droids from the Clone Wars. They do not have good memories of people with light sticks. <laughs> what about death sticks? You don't uh, want to sell it. Cool. You don't want to sell me death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. <laughs> I don't want to sell you death sticks. I want to sell you acid. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. so, so five days pass by, and the droids keep their uh, their distance. Uh, Hemon occasionally offers M and M's to Lemia. Min shows Lemia how to assemble furniture, and also how to not cry in the retail setting. Hmm. The secret is to be more angry than sad. And Lemia would be like, but it's not the Jedi way to be angry. Yeah. At least that's what I've heard. And, uh, the, the, you guys drop out of hyperspace, and there you see the planet Ruin. A single station over eh, hangs over it, and that's your, de your destination. You guys are going to have to dock with the station, and so far it doesn't seem to be hostile to you in any ways. Hmm. I mean, Jedi emotionless deleting uh, random minimum wage soldiers is still deleting random uh, minimum wage soldiers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Slender, please roll uh, me a piloting, since this is a different place that you're going to have to try not to crash into. Hmm. Alright. Piloting. Dexterity? Mechanical. Mechanical. S Starship piloting. Uh, thank you. Oh. 25! As ever, B1 Park and manages to dock and pilot in his way in with no problem. Just, he does not care. He is just like, I am one with the ship, the ship is one with me. I am one with the ship, the ship is with me. <laughs> the Jedi have, I am one with the Force, the Force is one with me. B1 has piloting. 
He's the best pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> and then says, please stop harassing the ship. <laughs> uh, what do you have to say to that to B1? <laughs> B1, look at me. I am the ship now. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, we have 40 minutes left to get through this. <laughs> Alright, people. <laughs> Mon's now typing. Oh god. Now, this is gonna be one weird ass podcast to listen to. May, oh, the, sh may the ship oh be with you. <laughs> yeah. As you guys proceed to dock with the station, connect the umbilical, and step off. You soon find yourself faced with an Imperial officer and an Imperial trooper, not a stormtrooper, but a standard box standard Imperial so soldier, staring at you. The Imperial officer sneers, Who the hell are you people and what are you doing on our station? Um... Well, you know... You're, uh... Maybe <laughs> Vince says vibin. Anybody want to try to roll to convince them? Or Lemia, do you want to try to roll to use one of your force powers on them? Let me see here. You have control, oh. sense, and alter. I'm going to say that uh, mind trick will probably be under control. Mm. You have a 1D. See ya? Let's see how you do. <laughs> Hold on to your butt. If you wanna if you wanna roll that at all. Give me that DM One D uh, six, five, pretty good honestly. And the officer rolls a one D six. Oh, Oh, he failed! He failed! The Stormtrooper, oh, he did not succeed either. Oh, yeah. Alright, and Lemia, what do you uh, say? Hated them to make it convince them that you belong there. Part of maintenance. I heard that there was off street doubles at one of the stations. Um, <laughs> The officer proceeds to scratch his head in it as the suggestion takes hold in his mind. Huh. I could have sworn that station was up to code. Did you know it was up to code? The stormtrooper just shrugs and goes, You guys don't tell me enough about anything. I just uh, I just patrol and occasionally shoot the rats that get on here. The officer goes, Well, I guess you're free to move then. They walk yeah. off. They walk yeah. off. So... They walk off feeling very confused, not certain what's going on. <laughs> just, just bullshit our way into it from the get-go. And as you guys can see, having a force user on your side is probably going to be pretty useful. Mm -hmm. and do, do, do B1 and BX feel any easier, or are they still like, uh, light stick? I feel somewhat trustworthy. Mostly because you know you could probably use her, her, her to bullshit your way into places now, don't you? Alright, you guys have the layout of the station now. You're free to explore, so roll me some perceptions and I'll describe what you guys see. Alright. I got an eight. Eight. That's, uh, we get some, uh, uh, Gerald got an eight. All right. Uh, wow. B one's uh, got the best roll so far. Casey has chili dog. Casey, Haman. Oh, oh boy, uh, Haman is so is short. Yes, you are perceiving. Thirteen. 
Oh, God damn it. Haman is... Why is my Discord not open? I have no idea. Haman is short and thus cannot see him very much. Uh, Le Lemia and BX see some general consoles around. KC spots a console... Uh, Min spots a console showing uh, depiction, uh, pictures of the planet below with vines overgrowing all over old ruins and temple structures. They seem... Strangely alien, huh? And, but at least one of you might be able to know a bit more about them if you guys roll me a history roll afterwards. B, B1, however, manages to find a central command console that gives him a good look at the station and another seat, and he sees that about three decks down is, uh, is an artifact of sorts. This weird crystalline like structure wrapped in metal. It's a weird gem like device. And that's probably why it's uh, but Nautilus wants. It's about, I'd say about the size of, how do I put this? It's not very big, but it's not small either. I'd say it's close to the size of maybe a football. So... I am emoji Emoji. American football or English football? Casey, the answer to that is yes. It's about the, the size of a head. About the size of a head. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now, as for the pictures of the structures that... Uh, Yours. Uh, Lemia and Gerald. Yeah. Oh, yep. KC and Slender. Please roll me. Well, everybody there, but Tuku, please roll me history rolls. Uh, 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 Tuku, Hemon does not really see anything. Again, he's they're fairly short. The most you probably spot are some uh, old uniforms. History, history, history. That would be under knowledge, last I checked. Uh, no. It's not C cultures. No. Uh, cultures then. Cultures, all right. Yeah, that's not it. Twelve. There you go. Nine. Seven. And fourteen. Fourteen, baby. Oh, Casey got. Double six is there. Yeah, I've been a bit surprised. All right, men recognizes those from their days in mercenary work. The tales of uh, uh, of uh, the Jedi and all that. The uh, the myth of the galaxy, because the galaxy is a big fucking place, and the Jedi were like a very small population of it. So it's not only a few thousand, right? Yeah, but uh, compared to the trillions uh, upon trillions of people. Living in the galaxy, it's no so wonder that they're not uh, that widely heard of. Mid, however, is a bit more worldly and thus n uh, knows more. Uh, Min recognizes those as old Jedi te uh, temples uh, dedicated to uh, who, well, that they're not certain of. But it's pretty clear the whatever the Imperial remnants are after here, it has to do with those. Yeah. BX recognizes them as, as because they look similar to a few of the te uh, temples and libraries he had to burn during his service for the Technocratic Union. Uh, B1's, uh, B1's memory chips are a bit uh, short-circuited at the moment, so he doesn't recognize anything. And Lemmy has only had rumors of the Jedi to follow, so... She's not quite certain if they are Jedi or not. That and honestly, no damn teacher to teacher. So, yep. yep. So, with it. so, how did you come about your lightsaber? Um, in her story, she actually on the Holocaust first. 
and he actually used the force to build a lightsaber. Oh. So. God damn. Yeah. yeah. What color? What color is the blade of your lightsaber, anyways? We never established that. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. Considering most of the Jedi trainees start off with a blue, I'm probably going to say it's a light blue or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> also, are we in Legends of Disney Universe? A little bit of both. Legends. A little bit of both. The best We're, having fun. We're having fun here. Yeah, the, 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 the best elements of both. Yeah. What was something of pink, though, for her? A light, a light pink blade. Mm. It's not pink, it's lightish red, he cries Donut. Mm. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so you guys have know what you're after, you know why you're after it now. Because, you know, Jedi, eh, high shit. And the Empire's always been after that shit. Now, yeah, and thanks to B1, you guys know where the artifact you're after is. How do you want to go after it? Do you want to just, like, waltz down there and grab it, or do you want to try to be a bit well, smart? Just walk down there. Anybody against the idea of just walking down there and grabbing it? Um, I will proceed mm -hmm. with caution. I mean, we'll, we'll get to a there. problem eventually. <laughs> But uh, until we figure out what the problems are, you know, how much else to do. So we're on an Imperial station. Just walking down there is not going to be a walk in the park. Oh, I mean, getting in the front door was pretty easy. No one shot us just for getting near. Just because it's an Imperial station doesn't mean anything. From what you can tell... So I would, would you say Imperial station? Are we talking like... It's shoot a, people who are trespassing on the site. It's a, it's a research station, but as you can tell, due to the fall of the Empire, it's a bit skeleton crew at the moment. Ah, uh, that change. You know, yeah, oh, just because uh, the Galactic Empire was large does not mean that they still have all the manpower they used to. Mm. If this was like Empire, Empire, oh, it would be a far harder for you guys to even get in there. But, again, relatively unknown location, uncharted regions, Imperial remnants, fiefdom, and warlords. So as far as you can tell, most likely Tusk is busy with his troops somewhere else. So, you're good for now. And the vote is to just kind of walk in there. Vibe on in there with caution. With caution... You guys proceed into... I'm done swimming. You guys proceed into the turbo lift, head down, and enter the uh, the vault room. There in the center is the artifact. It seems too easy. I will a perception check for any possible green lawn setups. Alright. Hey, Rogue! Roll me a perception, please. Nine. Good enough for now. You do notice that uh, at the uh, that there seems to be at least some uh, security camera set up around the room, so it is being observed, and probably something probably will happen if you pick it up. But as far as you can tell, nothing else. Mm. Now. Who wants to try and grab it? So we're taking a lift to get here, right? Yeah. Can I check the lift and see if it's wired to turn off or something? Uh, that would be technical knowledge. Roll me repulsor uh, lifts. Operation? Repulsor lift repair. Repair. Then we could try using the force to lift it off. Eleven. Okay. True. As far as you could tell, this thing is on its own system. It is not tied into the security here. Probably because if it need be, it'd probably just go grab other security. 
ask Lemmy a mention about the, the security cameras or security system? Uh, Lemmy has presumably told you guys about the security uh, cameras. What if we shoot the cameras? Okay. You're free to do that, Casey, if you wish. I was thinking that uh, Hamon will go to uh, disable them or any security system or look for a security system to disable. Well, that would probably alert them, Casey, I'm going to be honest. Mostly because, even if it's not loud, you're shooting out security cameras that are being monitored. The camera going out is more noticeable than somebody walking past them. Mostly because, you know, there's a system that's telling them, the guard that's probably not paying attention at the moment, that a camera just went down. Yeah. How heavy is the crystal? I'd say about three pounds. Uh, judging from what you can tell of, uh, of its looks. Does it look very heavy, even with all the metal bits attached to it? We are in two gushes. Yeah. Uh, we've only got like so many minutes and so much time left, people. You guys just want to get on to the end. The family uses the worst to this it. You could try, but you're gonna need to get a pretty good roll for this. Can I assist? That would be alter. Oh damn! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, Olivia raises a hand to try to, you know, force pull the crystal over, and it seems to work until the crystal pops off its pedestal and right through, but and right past. A little thing next to its podium. A, li a little sensor that proceeds to go off. <laughs> oh, we, we don't see that. I said as far as you could see, I didn't say that there was nothing else in the room. If you're the rolling. Yeah, we didn't roll a uh, high enough, enough in perception. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Anybody just want to grab it? So okay, get it out of there, because security's yeah. gonna be on. Yeah, I will. I go. I will go first. All right. Somebody roll me dexterity. Uh, yeah, just dexterity to try to eh, run and grab it. Both of us, or just one? Uh, eh, anybody? Eh, anybody? Highest one wins. Well, Gerald. Here. Gerald, how do you have a dexterity of zero? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. It rolled zero to six. It's broken. Four. <laughs> Gerald, you're on mute. <laughs> you know, I've been talking for like the past 30 goddamn it's, minutes. No wonder we couldn't hear you. <laughs> so, can we fix my dexterity real quick? Uh, let's see. You yeah, your perception works, your knowledge works. <laughs> Your strength works, but your but your dexterity is fucked. Huh. Wait. Hold on. Nope. How is this? Anyways, uh... Huh. What would I roll then? Just roll 46. Right. <laughs> Min, and Min has one with dexterity, dashes, oh, wow. Okay, the bounty hunter has one with dexterity. No kidding. A BX charges in there, grabs the crystal, and ja dashes back, just like, move, move, move! As uh, the alarms are going off. I need some alarms in here, so... Uh... Everyone starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, here we go. I've, I've got the perfect uh, choice for this. Oh, God. <laughs> Gonna put this repulsor lift in overdrive. Uh, as the doors open, 
at the other side of the room and out steps a silvery figure with two glowing red optical sensors glaring at you. Oh. G? It's a dark trooper. Yeah. I think we can take it. It rolls a dexterity of 5d6 and gets 21. It's now charging at you. Oh shit. Alright. Uh, can I just shit. roll to blast it? You can roll to blast it. Alright, that'll just be blast, right? Yep. Just fire and squat his ass, everybody. 16. Alright. It's uh, gonna roll to. Oh, wow. Oh my god. I Min, mean, you roll fire. damage. You're supposed to roll. Twenty-two Real skill, then weapon. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's gonna roll to dodge nineteen. It is oh, not. No. It is struck. It is down to all right. Gerald roll da damage. No wait. Uh, Min rolls. Then is the only one who gets to roll damage. So it's taken down uh, out to. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, that's they just saying that this thing has like. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, it's got pretty good health, so it's down. Does he have a weapon, or is he just like an arc? It's currently just charging at you, but it does have built-in weaponry. Oh, so I have to like melee parry it. Yeah, it stops. Anybody else want to try to do anything? Hang, or, or can I let it roll the next uh, boof? I believe I'm. Is it a droid? I think Lenny will give it a shot. It's a. It is a droid. Yes. Um, melee then damage, right? Well, it's not within melee range, so. Oh. Um, he hasn't. Oh. You can try rolling okay. for You can try rolling a force push. That um, that under appear as well. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mario. I couldn't hear you quite clearly there. That under alter as well. Yeah. Okay. Al alter is to alter the area around you. Ooh. Natural. Nice. <coughs> Natural six. The uh, the uh, the darker trooper is knocked onto its back about uh, about five yeah. feet away from where it went, from where Curly was. Yeah, does somebody better get that repulsor lift moving? Otherwise, yeah, you guys are gonna. It's just gonna get back up and start charging at you again. Can we kill it? You can can I try to cl climb on its back and disable it? Or disable something? Come on, why would you even want to get close to that thing? Because I want its weaponry. So you could take like a 27 and not die, so that's like scary. Yeah, it's a boss level character. I think we can take it if we all go. For context, Dark Troopers were a program made for killing Jedi. Phase 1s, which is what this is, is meant for killing Jedi. Phase 2 were meant for, I don't remember what, and Phase 3 were anti-tank devices. We can okay, it. so our dilemma is to stay on fight and probably lose, or just run away. Yeah. I, I, never think we can, I think we can win. I mean, come on. In just one dark... It's, it's just, just one... one. <laughs> Ward. Yeah, no, be it's, just, it's just Darth Maul. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> uh, Someone, sorry, am I? Go, seriously, though, we've got like 15 minutes left, people. Shoot it up. Uh, Let's go. B, B1 is to decide to go for the turbo lift. B1, roll me to repulsor lift oper operations. No reason not to have it ready to go for when everyone realizes, oh fuck, and someone <laughs> die. Alright. Roll 10. Wow, I rolled even worse than the last roll I made. You, you managed to get it started slowly. It looks like you be, might be able to get it out of this. So the dark Can trooper... Can I roll to try to speed it up? You get, uh, you could try to, but the dark trooper is going to take this moment to try to, ro uh, to roll a, a blaster of 70 and gets 23. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's going a little faster now. Uh, so everybody ro uh, roll to dodge. See if you can beat a 20. Uh. Oh, going to shoot it literally what the fuck? at the same time. What the hell is my problem? Something is wrong with your thing. I'll try to fix it later. But. All right. Uh, uh, what I roll then? 
Just roll, zero, just roll whatever your dodge is supposed to be. That's Four. not three d six. Shit! What the fuck? That's not my dodge. Right? Like I think there's something wrong with my character sheet. Uh, mine just says three d six. I don't know what's wrong with that. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, hey. I'm going to roll a 1d5, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. I'm going to roll a 1d5 to see who it hits. 5, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ooh, oh, oh, b1, b1, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. And that's the b1 was gone. Yeah. Wait, where are my hit points on this character sheet? Uh, your wound status. Wound. It's it. It's basically the hurt. <laughs> You're very hurt. Fourteen. That'll take you down to status I. Incapacitated. Bang. <laughs> Clang. You gotta have to drag him out, people. Somebody's got to I'll roll, him up. <laughs> roll strength to see if you can pick him up with ease. Hey, we will. Roll. Uh, yeah, we will. Uh, Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> but Gerald and uh, BX lifts his buddy up off the ground with no issue and hauls him over his shoulder. But as you can see, there's a pretty big hole sitting right through him right now. Can I try to do a quick repair. <laughs> Uh, yeah. you, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you guys proceed to sprint out and back to your ship now that the turbo lift has left that area. But it's pretty clear that the uh, the, uh, the dark trooper is still after you. Can I destroy the lift? Yeah, sure. Uh, Can I try to? S yes. Like, like shoot get, the wire or something. You got? Uh, is it? It's a repulsor lift. It doesn't have wires. Oh shit. I'll just shoot the hell out of the electronics. Yeah, uh, sure, you could try that. Will I need blaster or blaster? Alright. Blam 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 blam. Oh uh, well, no. No wait, your blast your is currently a bit of fun, so uh it would just be a sixty six. Or sixty uh, sixty six. <laughs> Goddamn, the gods do not like me. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll let it slide since you're shooting a, a stationary target. If you gotten much lower, I would have been like you somehow managed to miss. I won't even say that. I won't even say that you need to roll damage for this. You just wreck the thing with your blaster, air carbine. I feel like even rolling to hit a stationary target is kind of strange. Could I try to? You guys are you guys are under stress though because you're being chased by a fucking boss level enemy. Well, I don't know. I think a commando droid bounty hunter is perfectly capable of shooting a large console a few feet away from him. <laughs> okay, so who and you guys are on your way back to the ship? Who's going to uh, pilot it? Because you guys need to get the fuck out of there. I think I have the highest piloting out of all of us. <laughs> God. I have a... a... Oh, God. And yeah, same here. Who's got the gem? Uh, last I checked, it was BX. Yeah, so... I, I'm the co-pilot, technically, so... Let's see if I do a better one. Yep. Come on. No, uh oh You take over. <laughs> Boy, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, I'm only, I'm only good at repairs and shit like that. I'm not, I'm not good at anything else. Okay, so... You guys proceed to charge off... And, ooh boy, as you leave the station, oh, come on, don't freeze up on me now, Chrome. And my computer's frozen on me, great. This is just fair. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, something went wrong, my computer froze up for a second. It's uh, back now. Okay. Alright, you guys are now on your way. As you proceed to get out, you look outside one of the windows, and you see 
two dark troopers staring out at, at you from one of the windows in the station. There's Can a, I use a blaster just to shoot at them? You, their ship does have a mounted blaster turret. Alright, I'm just gonna go to Starship Gunnery. Fuck those guys. Wait, who's flying the ship? <laughs> Not me. I rolled a shit roll. Okay, okay, Min is currently piloting the ship. Could uh, I try to repair uh, B1? Yeah. Him on, could try to repair B1. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you blow a huge hole in the side of the station. The dark troopers go tumbling out. They seem completely undeterred, but it's pretty clear that their weapons are not going to scratch your ship. Good. It was just to say good old fuck you before I left. <laughs> yeah. 18. Hamon manages to repair B1 enough to get him operational again. B1, how does it feel coming back online after being shot through the torso? Mm -hmm. It feels yeah. terrible. Thanks. <laughs> Min, Min asks, what about everybody else, everyone else on the station? I say, fuck them. <laughs> I mean, how long will they get to attacking us on the station? Because I'll gladly just shoot it constantly. Uh, Someone is gesturing frantically for him to get into his <laughs> piloting station and get out of here. Uh, speaking of which, you get um, the ship's uh, passive center of the series to pick up something on your trail. Oh. It's a TIE mm -hmm. fighter. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to my station. Boost speed. I'll maneuver right, right there. Get us out of here. I'll go to gunnery. All right. I'm right back on piloting. I'm yes, okay. sir. We just put you into the ship. <laughs> Min, is, Min is switching up. Oh, 18. And uh, let's see. We'll roll the shield time. All right. So... That'll be him. The 1D is now a 2D. If uh, Hamon rolls uh, uh, Starship Repair to see if you they get the boost for the engine. 17! That'll, uh, that'll work. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Only three. <laughs> the TIE Fighter rolls an 11. It's catching up to you. And it's going to take this chance to uh, use its fire control. Seven. All right. And it's going to fire the twin laser cannons. Ten. Ooh. Hey, Min, you want to... Starship shields. All right. Uh, the, sh uh, the shield rating, 4D. And that's an 11 plus the 9, 20. All right, when can I shoot back? You can uh, try shooting back now. Min has managed to prevent you guys from being shot. Eleven. That'll do. And roll damage. Wait, uh, I'm the one who has to roll damage, because... Fire control. I was going to say, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll roll a, a 1v1. Oh, boy, that's a... Uh... Shit. That's pretty high, actually. You got, you've just made, uh, managed to make that into... Alright, so that's a pretty good fire control. 66. Ooh. Oh, oh. Did I hurt him? You just, you basically just brought that thing. You win. You, <laughs> I wouldn't say sunk, but it's currently not moving now as fast as it was. It's in. It's kind of burning out at this point. We finished it off. Close range. Roll fire control and roll uh, gunnery again. Alright. Oh, yeah, that sounds so good. And it's against a, the station a target that's no longer maneuverable, so yeah, that thing's fucked. Congratulations, you <laughs> just did. <laughs> Alright. And with that, that out of the way, <laughs> you get, as you got. It's, it's safe to say you're out of the way for now. God, that was that was close. It was actually pretty stressful. 
Yeah, no, uh, I didn't realize how strong he was until Splinter was incapacitated with a hole in his chest. Yeah, I still don't know how many wounds I'm supposed to have. <laughs> uh, you've been brought up from incapacitated to just... Uh, oh, how much health is in the wound states? Uh, I'll, yeah, I don't exactly know how to describe that, but you're now just up to wounded. So, uh, congratulations. You're not dead. Yay. <laughs> When we are uh, in, a, in a safe space, I'm going to try and, and keep repairing him. Yeah, about that. Uh, the artifact starts to glow, and your ship's nav system starts to go haywire. Eject it, eject it, eject it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Rid of it. <laughs> in fact, you seem to be going on a straight path towards the edge of the star system without jumping to hyperspace. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, and as you get out there, you see a giant ring structure of sorts. You're not certain how this thing. You not. You're not certain how this thing has been hidden, but it has. So, congrats. Um, do we find the halo rings? <laughs> it's not like that kind of ring structure. Oh, thank God. I was like, well, oh, shit. I'm live checking that gadget. <laughs> All right. Anybody have any last words before you guys hit the ring structure? What? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not killing you. Again, the state of the game would let me. Stupid rules. <laughs> uh, but this is just, um, this is just, you know, another thing going on in the adventure. Skate fast. So, you guys they really have no words of the eh, words for the fact that you're about to hit a giant ring structure. I already said my words, and that was what? Yeah, Mari, do you got anything to say? Got a bad feeling about this. Appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Min, this isn't the worst thing I've seen in retail. You say after you wake up from the crash. <laughs> You, should, you hit the ring, and a green light envelops the ship. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> the, uh, the system around you vanishes, and you find yourself somewhere else and flying straight at an arid desert planet right before you. Where are we? Alright, let's see. Come on, he's over to the side of sand. Hey, can I roll? For like planetary, uh, what's, what's it called? B1. Yeah, Starship. B1. Since you're in a damaged, roll Starship piloting at half. So roll 3D, please. Yes. Roger, roger. Roger. 12. That's not bad. This, the ship starts to go dead. You man B1 manages to pull out. Yeah, and manage to keep you guys on a straight path that will minimize any damage in the crash to the point where you guys don't suffer any damage. Disappointing. <laughs> you tumble through the atmosphere and your ship crash lands into a sandy planet below. Uh oh. No, your ship's not working. The gem has gone completely dark. And you step out, you just see a large temple of sorts. And in your heads, you hear a voice that just says, Welcome. And, that yeah, here. and that'll be it for this session, everybody. Oh, right. snap. Nice. Good game, good game. Clap, 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 clap. All right, everybody had a good time? Yeah. yeah. Any uh, notable things you want to say about this? I killed a person. <laughs> I think I've killed a person every game so far. I mean, two for two. <laughs> yeah. Someone missed the opportunity to getting the death droid thing, death, whatever, feet, and, and it's very angry. I'd say that this session went a lot I will say this session went a lot better than the last one. Went a little longer as well, but eh, what can you do? Hopefully next time it won't go as long. I want us to keep playing. There you go. And that's been all. This has been Silence. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night.
Good night. Good night.